what's up Planet Porky viewers, it's me, Darren the Ultimate, the proud owner of this magnificent and fantabulous collab. And here we are with another episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky Chainplay. So yeah, right now I'm using Ryolu and Munchlax. Um, Ryolu's named after me and Munchlax is named Munchies, the best nickname ever. So yeah, we're gonna go with uh, uh, last member uh, left off. Cause that's what a, a chain play is, and we're gonna talk to Beetle. Huh? Are you folks all set and ready for some exploring? Yes. Oh yes, sirree. Reckon you all are already. All are. Or I, I don't know. <laughs> then let's pick ourselves a lawbreaker for you to find. Well, you got your old pick of this sorry bunch of characters. Let's see, which one should we pick? Um. <clears throat> As your mentor, how about I do the choosing? Oh, don't pick one that looks scary. <laughs> oh, munchies. Yes, sir, I hear you. Let's see. Any mean? No, he's not playing any mini mini mo with our missions. <laughs> Stand clear, updating listings. Stand clear, updating listings. What's that? What's happening? You didn't hear what he what they just said. <laughs> Oh, the data's getting updated. <laughs> I like how this is perfectly normal, just like magnitudes and earthquakes and stuff like that. Just like happens normally around here. It's being updated? Yikes! Did you see that? The panel flipped over. What's going on here? The, the Outlaw Notice Board and Job Bulletin Board are set up on revolving panels. While the panel is flipped over, a Pokemon named Dugtrio swaps out the old jobs with the new ones. Dug drill? Oh, that looks so cool how that's set up. Updating data is Dug Trio's duty. Hat <laughs> duty. He tells us his way to our guild. Then he flips the panel and updates the data. <laughs> they look kind of scared just now. Oh, and they're back to normal. Don't swallows eat wormples? I don't know. <laughs> This duty didn't get doesn't get noticed much, but it's very important. Yep, yep. That's why Doug Trio takes such great pride in the duty he does. Hat duty again. <laughs> Noob stop. Oh, is that so? Update completed, stand clear. Update completed, stand clear. Oh look! Oh, looks like he's done. Wow. Yes, sir, read. The data is updated. The list of outlaws has been refreshed, so let's pick one. Huh? What's ailing you? Why are you shivering all of a sudden? It's not cold here after all. <laughs> well, you're beavers. So I thought you feel it anyway. T t take a look at this, Darren. Up top, on the left. It's drowsy. What? He he he's the one the criminal. We have to get moving! Zoro will be in serious trouble! Oh no! Now what's going on? Why are you all... Where are, all, where are you all off to? Tongue twister for the win. Hey! There's Meryl! Meryl, what's wrong? Where's Zoro and Drowsy? Yes! About them! After we all left, we went looking for our lost item together. But I wound up all alone when Mr. Drowsy went somewhere with Zoro. I called and called, but they never came back. I got scared. So which way did they go? Th th that way. Uh-oh, this is really, really bad. Y you're sure Drowsy and Azura went off in this direction? Yes. Oh, Darren, the Drowsy and Azura you saw in your dream, you said you saw them in a mountainous place, right? Yep. I think the two of them are up ahead here. Well, that's what Meryl just said, uh, Captain Munchies. <laughs> Let's roll, Darren, quick! Alright, so if you guys uh, watched the last episode with Giga Slayer 99, you would have known that... Um, oh, wow, I did not notice him there. Uh, you would have known that... Um, uh, that Jowsy went off with Azuro and Meryl to find their lost item. And... Um, oh, wow, way to interrupt me. But anyway, we leveled up, so I guess that's good. But, yeah, we... Um... 
Uh, wait, they went off to go find their lost item because Drowsy claimed and said that uh, he knew where it was. So they blindly believed him and they went to go find it. But then, obviously, um, as you can see just now, um, which was like a few seconds ago, Meryl got separated from Azuro and Drowsy. So that means that Dr Drowsy is somewhere with Azuro. And I don't think he's going to find their lost toy. That's what I think. And, it, and then, um, right, um, we had that that premonition of sorts, um, stating that um, that Azuro is going to be in big trouble. So yeah, this is it's it's going to get crazy. We got to get up there pretty uh, really fast if we want to save them. Oh poor Azuro, he's probably really scared right now. But uh, anyways, yeah. Um, uh, the reason why I picked Munchlax and Raiolu is because first of all, both of them are awesome. It makes and they both make an awesome duo. Um, and um, Raiolu here has one of the best move pools in this entire game. Uh, well, early on, like, like um, a bit later, it kind of slows down. But like uh, early on, like right now, like his move pool is like close to perfect. Like I always loved his move pool in this game. I always loved using him. Um, it's actually pretty. It's pretty hard to actually get uh, Raiolu if you don't know what you're doing um, when you're answering questions. So. Um, if you want to use Raiolu, all you have to do, um, is, um, act sassy, pretty much. Act like you're mean, in a way. So, if, like, if you act like you're mean, they're gonna call you sassy, and then you get to use them. And, wow, that's three Pokemon. And, I can't, I don't want them to get double, triple teamed. Wait, let's see. What's his HP? Oh, his HP is pretty good. He's good. <laughs> um, I'm still gonna help with my quick attack. Because quick attack can um, attack from two spaces away. That's what I really love about this. You can attack without getting hurt. Isn't that the best thing ever? <laughs> it's like a coward. Anyways, it's quick attack. Why the why did Geo do of all Pokemon have to be in the middle to be the one I can only attack? And that Metronome. Oh wow, Blazer Kick. Wow. Um. So yeah, as you can see. Uh, he has... Whoa, I'm about to die. I am about to die. Well, I think we can take him right now. Let's go. Uh-oh. That's not good. And, of course, Munchlax did not do anything. Uh, because I think he slowed down. So, let me use my... Horn Bearer. Before I die. I don't want to be the first one to die. In this, um... In this... Chain play. So, yeah. Spinarak is really annoying. But of course, much less we use uh, Blaze Kick on like, or on a Spinarak. Uh, I mean, like on a Geodude, but not like on a Spinarak where it's like super effective. Of course it won't, right? That's just my luck. And I don't have luck with flying types <laughs> until I evolve anyway. So I'm going to just attack from afar. Oh wow, he used Runaway. Um, if you see that green smoke thing, that means that his runaway ability activated and he automatically runs away from the battle. And he's going to stay away from you. Uh, he, he's going to stay away from you pretty much. Unless you like, if he's like one space ahead, you can actually hit him with your quick attack, um, quick attack and, um, take him out. Because usually when you use runaway, that means they're about to faint. They're like nearly close to fainting, so, yeah. And I should use bite. Wow, that took a lot of damage. But good thing in this game, um, when you it's good that um, every two steps you gain you gain one HP. So if you're running, you're gonna you're gonna create, uh, gain even more HP, which is actually really really cool. I really like that mechanic in this game uh, that um, that you can do that because that's really really helpful. Considering that like orange berries are like um, are like the only things that can heal you pretty much. That and the searches berry, but. You're not going to be seeing that for uh, quite some time. And wow, you're about to run away again? Wow, just lead me to the stairs. I usually follow them because they usually, like, like 88% of the time lead me to the stairs. But this time, that that she owns part of the 12%. Um, but anyways, yeah. So here we are on, on the fifth floor. I need to get leveled up. And this Nidoran has poison points, so it's going to be... Pretty dangerous since all my moves are offensive uh, or physical, rather. 
But um, I love Ryo's move pool so, uh, this early in the game, especially counter, because um, counter pretty much is, is in this game anyway, um, he throws up a counter shield, and whatever physical damage he takes, um, they take the same amount of damage. So like, if I took 41 damage, I mean like, if I took 39 damage and it was left with 2, uh, 2 HP, and then... Uh, Ductrio, Ductrio here only had 32 damage, he would take the full on 38 damage and like faint instantly, so, yeah, that's, it's really cool, but you gotta be a bit careful, because you don't know, uh, what the enemy is capable of sometimes, and that can really, uh, get you in trouble, so, yeah, so let's get this quick, why am I running out of moves so quick, this is not fair, Whoa, why is that taking so much damage? Like, he took 26 damage, like, just like that. Like, that's way too much just early in the game. This is, like, what, our second dungeon? Uh, anyways. Um, alright. Just bite on him again. And sometimes when you just bite on them, they cringe. So they, like, stay there, like, they stand still for, like, a turn or two. And we got a Mex Elixir. Perfect. Um, I have a lot of items, that's why I can't pick it up, but I'm just ingest it from the ground. Because I'm a boss like that. Alright, where are the stairs? Oh wow, that that took a lot. Oh no, he used lair. He's gonna lower he lowers his defenses, that's not good. Alright, let me just bite. Oh good, he missed. And I missed, awesome. Oh, but at least he leveled up. <laughs> Well, I leveled up. Cool. So, we, we're gaining some levels here. We're gaining two levels so far. And this is, what, six floors? We're making some good progress here, guys. But, uh, we gotta really hurry up, though. And I'm almost dead, aren't I? Oh, I took him out. And Munchie's leveled up. And he can learn a new move. What is it? Um, I think it's Amnesia. Oh, yes, it is. See my skills, man. All right, I'm not gonna. All right, I'm gonna make him. I learned. I made him learn amnesia, but I, I'm not gonna make him use it because that's that's unnecessary. Unless like he really, really needs it. So, I'm just turn it off and go up to the stairs. All right, so let's get some money. And um, if you see any seeds on the floor, I advise you to pick them up because they're gonna be really essential in boss battles since you can't use orbs. Um, I forget if this orbs were covered in, like, previous episodes, but, yeah, you can use orbs and stuff to help you out during dungeons, but you cannot use orbs in boss battles, in boss battles, um, because of some reason, like, it would be like, oh, a mysterious power makes that, like, um, um, unusable or something like that. <laughs> some cheap excuse. But, uh, anyways, I'm going to give me... An attack boost, because there's no need to use these. Um, boost special attack for Munchies, in case he has a special attack move, his metronome. And, um, oh, I have iron, boost my, my defense. is a lot worse than Munchies. So, pick up this Blasties, the Breeze Fire at the target in front of you. To use it, open the menu, select it from items, then select eat. So, yeah. Um, I advise you to use these seeds in boss battles, like I said, because they're going to really, really help you a lot. Because I know they really help me. And I'm just let that dude sleep, because there's poison point ability. I'm not trying to be poisoned, guys. And there goes a Starly. Take a Munchies while I hit him from two, two blocks away. Thank you. Um, alright, so let's go. We only have a few more floors, uh, floors left until... Uh, we encounter Drowsy and Azuril, so be ready, um, especially if you're playing along. S super effective, yay! Alright, let's grab that money, and the stairs are right there. And I can't hit them, uh, I don't think Quick Attack can hit from corners, I'm not sure, let me see. Oh, it can! Oh, he's run away, <laughs> it pushed N Nidoran out, now Nidoran to come back. That's funny. You can take a quick attack too. Oh wow! Wow, I was facing the wrong- Are you serious? I was facing the wrong way. And poison point. 
Isn't that just great? Come on, Nidoran. Just stop using mud support. Nobody has electric type moves. Thank you. All right, I think we have one more floor, and um, Munchie's pickup ability. Um, sometimes like every time we're on the floor, sometimes he picks up items like random items that he found somewhere, and he just found one. But I don't know what it is though. And I'm too lazy to check, so we're just gonna see. <laughs> we're gonna see eventually. Let's get this annoying spinner rack out of my face. Thank you. So I'm guessing Spinarak has an HP of 40 because every because oh wow he had a blast seed he picked up a blast seed I told you he was gonna learn eventually I didn't know he was gonna be that fast that was perfect timing good job munchies and let's take this guy out can I thank you yes see I'm telling you Ryolu and Munchlax make an awesome team and then when they evolved holy crap. A Lucario and a Snorlax on the same team. <laughs> um, anyways, let's go on. Mount Bristle Peak. Uh oh, it's a dead end. Excuse me, Mr. Drowsy, where's my lost item? Could you show me where the item is now? Sorry, kiddo. Your lost item, it's not here, that's for sure. Huh? My. Big brother! My big brother's following us, right? He's coming soon? Nope, your big brother's not coming. I'll let you in on a little secret. This was all a trick. I deceived you. Huh? But that's not... But let's not dwell on that. There's a, a little favor I need to ask. See that hole behind you? Well, there's a rumor that there's a trove of thief treasure inside there but as you can see I'm too big to squirm my way through that hole and that's where you come in don't worry just do as I say do that and I hope you get back out of here but but go on get going go on into that hole and don't forget to bring back the treasure wow this sounds really wrong hey, hey stop that sheesh I said that I'll take you home when I when you're done if you keep being difficult it'll just be mean big trouble for you <laughs> help stop right there let's go munchies up oh, that theme song though we won't let you do that drowsy you bully how did you find this place find this place we're team EGF an exploration team yep epic gamers full for the win no criminal can escape us a an exploration team you came to apprehend Huh? Are you trembling? Aha! I figured it out! You say you're an exploration team, but you're a total rookie rookies. Uh nice going there, munchies. <laughs> Urk. <laughs> That's right. I'm a wanted Pokemon with a bounty on my head. But can you two do the job? Can you confront this outlaw and bring him justice? Urgh. Y y yes we can! Yes, we can! We never lose to a bad guy like you. <laughs> I've been chased by all sorts of exploration teams in my day, but never a sorrier looking bunch than you two. I haven't done anything. I... I might... What? <laughs> Urgh. This should be a laugh. Let's see if you, you two can take me down. Show me what you got. And here we are with a boss battle. Let's do this. Alright, so... Uh, let's see if I got any seeds. Alright, I have a stun seed. Alright, so I'm going to demonstrate the use of seeds right now. Um, I'm going to throw a, sun, a stun seed at him. And see, now he's stunned. Now we can go wherever he wants because he's going to be petrified until we attack him. So we can plan We can plan and do whatever we can um, like for as long as we want because he's going to stay there for forever, actually. So, um... I'm gonna just give Munchies um, a defense scarf or something. I'll give me a future bow. And um, what else? What can we use? This gummy. You just gotta be prepared. See, my attack went up by one. By one. If you see any gummies, eat it automatically. 
uh, because it can boost your attack stat and your IQ, so, uh, yeah. And I have some blast seeds, so, I'm ready for this guy. Um, I should use, alright, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to use a blast seed. And see, he took 35 damage. That is a lot of damage. And wow, he used Leech Seed using Metronome. See, Metronome is awesome. Alright, um... Alright, so I'm gonna use Bite. Super effective. And he used Confusion. Wow, I really would've took a lot of damage from that. But it missed, and we beat him that easily, guys. See, it's good to prepare. We came to rescue you. Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? I'm okay. Awesome! That's a big relief. Your big brother's waiting. Let's get you home. Okay. Aw, uh, we was able to save him. Zzzt! I am Magnazone, the primary officer in this region. Zzzt! Zzzt! Thanks to you, we have been able to arrest a wanted outlaw. Zzzt! Zzzt! We owe you great thanks for your cooperation. Zzzt! Zzzt. We will send a reward to your guild. Thank you again. Zzzt. <laughs> Zzzt. Now come with us. Zzzt. <laughs> Aww. Magnezone is awesome. He's just one big Magnemite. <laughs> Azuru! Meryl! Aww. <laughs> Meryl! It was so scary. You okay, Azuru? Are you hurt? He's fine. The little guy's not hurt at all. Really? That's a relief. Oh, Azurl. Azurl. I'm really glad for you guys. You did all of this for us, Munchies and Darren. <laughs> How can you take his name seriously? We won't forget what you did for us. Thank you so much. Come on, Azurl. You too. You too. Yep. Thank you very much. Thank you for rescuing me. Really, really, thank you. Alright, we get the point, man. You're gonna make me blush. The Exploration Team Federation has sent a message. Darren's team was rewarded with an enlarged treasure bag. Awesome. You can now carry more items than you could before. Wait, there's one more message. The special episode, Beat Off's Witch, has been unlocked. Yes, um, this is exclusive to the Explorers of Sky game, not the, um... Time, uh, exposes time and exposes darkness. Only in exposes sky, uh, you get special episodes. Now, um, we're gonna be doing special episodes much, much later, but um, we will be doing them because special episodes are awesome. Believe me, it's a great storyline. Uh, to play a special episode, select it from the episode list on the top menu. If you would like to play the special episode, save your adventure progress and then return to the top menu. All right. I've gotten a bonnie from Officer Magnazone and for the captured outlaw. Well done, you two. Here's your share for the job. It's yours to keep. And we received 30,000 bounty that was on the head of the catcher outlaw, but we only get 300. <laughs> because 2,700 pokey coins of that is the guild share. Uh, but as a result, Darren's team only received 300. Wow. Huh? We only get this much? After all that hard work. But of course! It's all part of the training. And we expect just as much effort tomorrow. Hee <laughs> hee! He knows he's a jerk too. Urf. You know, it would make me happy if our share was a little bigger. But that's okay. We managed to rescue his girl. And it's all thanks to you, Darren. Because you had that dream, Darren. We knew that Zero's trouble in advance. It's true. I can't explain it, but... The first shout I heard from Xero. <laughs> Help! <laughs> In that dream I had. If you keep being difficult, it will only mean big trouble for you. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Both of these events, they took place in the future. Why was I able to see something like that? Was that dream about... Whoops! My stomach growled. Oh, Munchlax. Ha <laughs> Your stomach growled too, Darren. I guess we must be we must be starved. We were so focused on rescuing Azuro that I didn't notice at all. 
But now I'm even hungrier. <laughs> Let's go get dinner, Darren. Yay, well-deserved dinner. Well, hard days at work. <laughs> look at Weekly Tough. He's not even eating an apple. He's just dancing. Wow, look at these savages. Good God. <laughs> Whoa! The lightning's intense! It looks like it's really stormy tonight. Wait a second. You know that that night before we met, Darren? It was storming that night. I found you out cold on the beach that day. That stormy night, Darren. Do you remember why you were out cold on the beach? Can you remember anything at all? I wonder. Hmm. There was a storm, but how did I end up unconscious there? Nope, I can't remember a thing. I guess it won't be that easy, but that's all right. Just remember, just try remembering a little at a time. We should get up early again tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. Hey, Darren, are you still awake, Darren? I've been thinking about this since it happened. That weird dream you had, Darren. Maybe it has to do with your, you personally, Darren. Huh? It's just a feeling that I get. I sure don't know any other Ryolu who's dreams about the future. And I've never heard of a human suddenly turning into a Pokemon either. That's why I think the two events are connected. I can't, I just can't shake that feeling. The key to unlocking my memory. Was it in that dream? And even if that were true... How does it relate to anything else? I don't know what you were like as a human, Darren, but I'm sure you were a good person. I mean, it was because of your dream, Darren, that we were able to catch that bad Pokemon. Bad Pokemon, huh? Oh, that reminds me of what Chata said. That the growing number of bad Pokemon has been caused by the time going out of whack. You know, time is getting messed up bit by bit all over the world. No one seems to know why. But everyone believes that the time gears are somehow involved. Huh? Time Gears? They say Time Gears are hidden in secret places around the world. Like in a forest. Or in a lake in an underground cavern. My cavern. <laughs> I never heard that there was a hidden altar. I even heard that it was a hidden altar inside a volcano. Wow. At the center of such places is what's known as a Time Gear. Time Gears serve a very important function. Each one protects time and keeps time flowing properly in his region. But what happens if a region loses its time gear? I don't really know the answer to that question. But my guess is that if it's a time gear is removed from a region, the flow of time in that region will probably stop too. That's why everyone makes sure never to disturb the time gears. Everyone has long been certain that some kind of disaster would strike. So everyone stays away from the time gears and doesn't tamper with them. Even the most hardened criminal Pokemon knows to avoid messing with them. Do my eyes deceive me? Could it be? Yes, it is! I finally found it! A time gear! But, this is the first of many. The next morning. Alright guys, I'm going to end this episode off here. So I really, really hope that you enjoyed this uh, pretty lengthy episode. I apologize for that. But the story is really, really good and it's really, really worth the time. So, yeah, um... Uh, I'm, I'm going to end this episode off here. Uh, be sure to subscribe to Planet Pokey and Epic Game is Full. And if you like my content here, uh, go ahead and check out my channel. Uh, the links to everything is going to be in the description below. This has been Down the Ultimate. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.